It is a week where we come as a people of Niwe. It is a week where we embrace who we are and to celebrate the Vangahau Niwe. And not, not only that, it is a week where we share with a lot of uh, uh, people in Aotearoa, especially in our homes, I mean, starting from our homes, within our families, the, 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 with our colleagues at work. It is a time to share with them um, who we are as people of Nuit, our singing, our dancing, uh, and more so our food. Because uh, I, I always believe that the Nuit people are the best cooks in the, in, in the Pacific. The achievement is not mine. The achievement is actually uh, my community. It is my families. Because without them, without the support of these people, I wouldn't be able to, to do the things that I'm actually doing. I see myself as a servant. I see myself as a servant of the community. Uh, but on top of that, I love, I'm so passionate, anything new in. aware of so many of our um, uh, Niwe, Atuhau Niwe, uh, who are actually uh, marrying other I mean, non-Niwans, who are actually marrying to other cultures. And what I said, and within these homes there are more than just one language spoken. And I urge, I mean, teach their children, speak the two languages. If it's Samoan and Tongan, so be it. But teach the languages to the children. If it's Niue and Tokelo, you know, do it. Do it for the sake of our children and, 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 and for them to, to be able to cope in the kind of world and the community that they're actually moving into. I come from Niue, a monolingual uh, society, but English was actually introduced. But I come from a very monolingual uh, society or, or community, but with our children now living in this, in, in this country, they have many languages. But I would like to take it back, Bangahau Niwe is our mother tongue, so it is important for us to, um, to do that. Uh, I'm very aware, so, like I said, very aware so many of our children have actually married into other cultures. It is also important to embrace whatever culture they have actually gone uh, into, embrace it. Uh, favorite uh, uh, new proverb, and it is some, it is a very common one. Tao e umu ke moho, meaning you do something, make sure you finish it, complete it. Uh, don't do it halfway or don't do it half pie that we all we, we normally sort of say you do something do it with your with your with the right intention do it with your heart might mind and soul um, because it is just not you that will benefit from it but the wider community and the people of the way will actually um, will benefit from what you have actually started so make sure you do it, you finish it. Now it will get more.